My name is Bill Green. I'm the former chairman and chief executive officer of Accenture. I'm Trish Carter, and uh, I'm the founder and chief deer of Dancing Deer Baking Company. John Drew, and I'm the president of the Drew Company. My name is Laura Sen, President and Chief Executive Officer of BJ's Wholesale Club, Inc. I grew up in Western Massachusetts, the very proud son of a plumber. Well, I went to Wakefield Public Schools. I grew up in Wakefield, Mass. I grew up in South Boston, then went to Boston College High School. I had a choice of uh, joining the Plumbers Union or participating at Dean College. My dad said, you can always be a plumber. Why don't you try that Dean thing? I chose Boston College. Going to Stonehill and being a liberal arts major, it seemed like that was the logical next step. You know, when I started Wheaton at 16 years old, I thought I'd be a studio major. I was um, an English major, English literature. I started out as a sociology major, but quickly decided I wanted to be a French major, which, of course, everybody said, well, what are you going to do with that? I think a liberal arts education is much more about an education than training. Learn how to learn, learn how to think. Learn what other people are thinking. Know something about the world. Understand humanity. The value of a liberal arts education comes from the diversity of subjects. So that's the beauty of being in a liberal arts world like Wheaton, where you're surrounded by things you know nothing about. political science and history and theology and philosophy, French, which was not my best subject, I might add. And you try it out. I did try out organic chemistry and I decided I didn't belong there, but, <laughs> but I learned something. It develops your intellectual curiosity and your intellectual ability. The thing that keeps CEOs up at night is talent. At Accenture, when we look for employees, there's all the traditional measures which are interesting, but in many ways just table stakes. What is it? Is it because they've studied accounting or is it because somebody's sitting in front of you and they have a sparkle and a curiosity and a willingness to get it done uh, at the tactical level? We look at people that have learned how to learn. And maybe most importantly, people have a view that this is a very big world. I'm always interested in what people have studied, but n not necessarily because I'm looking for them to bring a heavy content load in, but I want to see evidence that they've pursued something to a level of excellence and depth. Competence, confidence, character, and caring. Those four traits are just incredibly important in a broad-based educational underpinning allows you to develop the ability to be exceptional at all those four things. My education gave me a view, a window, a way to think about and see what's out there. My education has changed how I am to not only do a good job for me, but to make contributions to the people and the society around me. My education at Stonehill provided me with a very strong sense of purpose and self, bringing me to a sense of greater potential. And it provided me the ability to think like an adult and be an adult in the world. But I think that that's what every family would want for their student. Dean not only educated, it energized and inspired. And that's the thing that takes ordinary people and finds their ability to do extraordinary things. Things would have been different for me had I specialized right out of the gate. I think I would have narrowed my focus. In some respects, it would have made my life a little bit simpler because I would have, <laughs> I would have had clear direction. Looking back, if I had done it that way, I don't know if I'd be the same person I am today. I needed the breath and I needed the freedom to try different things so that I could, in fact, find my way. 
I don't know if I would have done a better or worse job had I had some other kind of education. But the one that I had worked out really well for me. As the time went on, I reached more and more for the things I had learned there. And frankly, in the role of CEO and chairman, the skills I use are all about the synthesis of things you learn in a broad-based liberal arts education.